Thank you so much for staying around. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us tonight for to witness this workshop with Robinson by Jane. And thank you so much for sitting around for the talk back tonight. Uh, my name is Alison Biovichu. Uh, I'm the co-director at the Drama Tour So, wow. How are we feeling right now? Oh my God. And so it's been kind of a crazy process 
And I should say, like, I am just so grateful for everything these performers gave because, guys, we only had two rehearsals. <laughs> we had two weekends. I finished the script on the 16th. <laughs> and the process was that, well, I just knew that I wanted to interview women. I also, for, at first I wanted to write kind of like vagina monologues, but more like the Asian American women monologues, but then found that I didn't have time <laughs> to interview and get deep within each story as much, because I was, I'm in Boston now for grad school, so I've been going back and forth getting here in New York. So I kind of was like, you know, a lot of women also want to remain anonymous. So let me put out a survey to the world. So some, all the like, note card answers are real. Um, and let me also interview the women that are on stage with me and kind of create this safe space where these stories can be shared and not tied to like one character or person. Um, when I got all the surveys, I got so overwhelmed. And so Allison, who's, who I could not have done, like guys, like she's just like that calm, like she, I can't even explain how much she's done in shepherding this process. I text her being like, why did I do this? Why did I say I was going to make a play about Asian, East Asian women? It's impossible. Like what am I, what am I doing? And I kind of put that frustration in the play, I think, as like a theme. But I came up with this sort of structure, finally kind of clicked, where Everyone gets their moment, but we still hear the anonymous slips, and then we end with this beautiful, cathartic expressiveness. And I felt like they came up the, you know, as a writer, it's, it's been really interesting learning about how to write for the stage, and Allison has been really helpful with that too. Of like, you need moments of release and rhythm on stage for the audience to have a very interesting journey. Like, I couldn't just be like, Trauma, 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 this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. <laughs> like, I, and I wanted to, like, also express, like, Asian women, we have all these other feelings, obviously, and we're like, this whole thing that you don't really see on stage, so I wanted to ask questions that people get asked. Um, so, and then, yeah, and somehow this happened. Like, I don't know how we honestly did this, it's just two rehearsals and tech. But I am just really, I I thought a lot I love that you're really speaking to this that it's such a collaborative process and we could have done this without the cast members and not everybody who's been sort of shaping and shepherding this process along with us. So I wanted to sort of open up this process question for everybody. Um, and you're pretty popular. What were some of the what was the process like for you? And what were, if, if there was ever like a special moment that you
inhabit it and like be my heritage, um, which is amazing. It's like such a beautiful experience to get to do that. We are so honored again to have this comfort and have this comfort. Such strong comfort in my first to be with us. So hearing that is such a validation for thank you guys.
Yeah, like everything is um, like she was saying, rhythm, like pace, like pacing, you know. So how they talk, how they do their gesture, how they interact with each other, it's actually what I do too. Like how I play this phrase, and this phrase comes in with my bass drum, how I interact with each, in each instrument, and how I design like the whole pacing of the whole structure of the solo to be related to what she wrote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, never
it's, it feels safer in here where we can be ourselves, and outside is this place where it immediately, like, it doesn't matter what you really are. A lot about Fernando's process, about whose story is this, and sort of why he gets to own, write the story, perform the story, own the story, and like, sort of what space is this? You know, to be able to have all your experiences and thoughts come in and help her. And we, we literally, so there was a moment that when Tiffany was singing to me, you're talking about being outside, but basically she walks into your world. So this is your world. And I sort of wanted to think a lot about it. Also, like this space is organically also that, um, creating that as well. But I was thinking a lot about like, what is what is enclosed in her brain, what walks into her world, and what is like outside of the world that she created, and that's the outside force to the back. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for that question. I so that was about the time that we have. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. If there's anything else that you'd like to share with me or Amy. Please feel free to fetch us after. Yeah, or you can write it, if, if you're shy, you can write it down and you can leave it in the yeah. box. Yeah. <laughs> the box will stay here. Oh, here. Um, because this is a workshop, so the first time it's ever been seen by anyone. And I, and I want to continue it in some way, so I'm looking for 